When you need mealtime inspiration, it's worth shopping Kroger, for thousands of appetizing ingredients that inspire countless mouth-watering meals. And no matter what tasty choice you make, you'll enjoy our everyday low prices, plus extra ways to save, like digital coupons worth over $600 each week, and up to $1 off per gallon at the pump with points. So you can get big flavors and big savings. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Fuel restrictions apply. Dana and Jess in the morning. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Let's get started. Good morning. I listen every morning. 103.3 KFR. Good morning. Good morning. It is Thursday, September 19th, 2024. Uh, Weather-wise... Sunshine high of around 87 today. Perfect. So another beautiful day. Uh, I don't want to jinx anything, but we've been without rain for so long. I don't really have to mow. Yeah, but when you have allergies and it hasn't rained, it's like, oh, I actually just want one day of rain, honestly. The allergies have been thumb wrestling you pretty hard lately. Yes. Yeah. All right, uh, listen, coming up on the show this morning, we have a question for you. What's something people romanticize but is actually horrible? Give us your answer by tapping the chat button on the KFR app. And in this question, in the spirit of the question, it could be something in movies or just in general. I do feel like uh, one thing that's been romanticized a lot uh, growing up, and I'm assuming it's still this way, you know, like uh, when you're a kid. If, if a boy hits you, it's because he likes you kind yeah. of thing? No, he's just a jerk. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not make that an awesome... <laughs> yeah. Oh, he clearly has a crush on you. Yeah. He's, he's uh, beginning physical violence yeah, at the age of it. seven. Yeah. yeah, we did do that. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Things like that. So what's something people romanticize but is actually horrible? Tap the chat button on the KFR app with your answer. Uh, we also want to throw some money at your face. That's right. 30 grand in your hand. Listen up for that code to hopefully win it. $30,000. Mm-hmm. Now, keep in mind, if you hear the code, it takes you, what, a minute, two minutes max to grab your phone. Yeah. Tap that button where you can enter the code. If you don't win, then you've lost nothing. But right. if you do win, your life has changed. Yeah, you could do a lot with 30 grand. So that first code, 8 a.m., good luck. Oh, also dog days today. Yes. It's an action-packed day. Favorite day of the week. Katie Timber from the SBCA of Southwest Michigan will be in studio. You can check the whole thing out live uh, on Facebook. Go to the KFR Facebook page so you can see the adorable dog or cat she has with her, uh, as well as listen to us live here on the radio. So, Jess, are you ready to get things started? Yes, let's do it. It's our anniversary. One year, one day today. WKFR FM and WKFR FM HD1. The Town Square Media Station. Who says there's no such thing as a stupid question? Well, that was a stupid question. Here's Dana and Jess on 103.3 KFR. We'll ask you a silly little question. 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 What's something people romanticize but is actually horrible? Give us your answer right now by tapping the chat button on the KFR app. For me, it's living in a different time period. I don't oh, know. Why. Good answer. Why did I always think I wanted to live in the 1800s? Like, what? I can't imagine doing that physical labor and the type of clothes that women had to wear back then. You know what? What? Just time travel in general is something especially people of my generation have always romanticized. Mm. Think of this, though. Here, I've been in radio now since the early 90s, right? It's not like I could go back in time and be better at radio in the <laughs> 80s. Here's why. Everything was different. Lifestyle so was different. So true, right? Uh, the job would be much harder to me now because I'm used to computers. Right. And it wasn't like that. Yeah. So like going back in time, all of the luxuries and tools that we have today exactly didn't exist. Uh-huh. Yeah, th- that's... Ah, might be my favorite answer right off the <laughs> right off the get go. Yeah. All right. So, what's something people romanticize but is actually horrible? Ama- Chap, uh, tap the chat button with your answer. Amanda says the Joker and Harley Quinn relationship. It was completely toxic. Right? Yeah. Really, look at that. It's, we it's do. wild, man. Yeah, we've got the Halloween costume ready to go, and mm-hmm. I, lo- I love this one. Jamie says your wedding. <laughs> yeah. Katie says, working yourself to death as a hustle. Yeah, Very true. I, I think the world is finally waking up mm-hmm. to uh, to the fact that it's not 
a good brag. No. That you work 80 hours a week. Yeah, at all. Uh, James says pirates. Another <laughs> yeah. amazing answer. Yeah. The reality of pirates, absolutely horrific. Mm-hmm. Yeah, living on a boat and like all you do is. Well, I mean, for the people they victimize. Yeah. I mean, it's really bad. Yeah, they're, they're, that part too, but. We've uh, somehow made these pirates so lovable, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. They're not. Okay, so what's something people romanticize but is actually horrible? Tap the chat button on the KFR app with your answer right now. We're going to read more of those answers in about 15 minutes. You can also call in your answer at 978-1033. Dana and Jess in the morning on 103.3 KFR. Powered by Fab Face and Body, a full-service med spa where beauty meets technology and dreams become reality. Who says there's no such thing as a stupid question? Well, that was a stupid question. Here's Dana and Jess on 103.3 KFR. We'll ask you a silly little question, silly little question. What's something people romanticize but is actually horrible? Tap that chat button on the KFR app right now with your answer. For me, it's explosions in movies. I can't hear! I can't hear! There's blood blisters on my head! Oh my god, how do I walk away in movies without flinching when it explodes behind them? There's no way! I need an MRI. I need an MRI! The only movie that got it right. Yeah. That's very from good. other guys. It is so true. They just they do just walk away from these massive But they do explosions. it with such a tough swagger, yeah. right? Yeah. And the explosion happens, they don't flinch. But uh, other right. other guys with Will Farrell and Mark Wahlberg. Perfect. I mean, <laughs> chef's kiss. So what's something people romanticize but is actually horrible? Give us your answer by tapping the chat button on the KFR app. Christy says jealousy. Ooh. Uh, yeah, that is a very, very, very unhealthy, I, I don't know what to call that, behavior. Mm-hmm. It's a uh, red flag for sure. Yeah. And then, but people do say, oh, it's cute that he wants to know, uh, That's you know, not, un- wants me to stay home all the time. Don't and- confuse jealousy with love and being wanted. Yes. That is a personal insecurity. That is a yeah. them problem, mm-hmm. not a them loving you thing. Right. Uh, Vance says vampires, not just hickeys. I mean, think about it. <laughs> It's like someone's stabbing you in the neck. Yeah. That's what yeah. that is. Ugh. And slowly killing you. No Oof. big deal. Donnie <laughs> no says deal. Romeo and Juliet. They were 13. Well, you know what? That's disgusting and it had never yeah, considered that. Right. What? Right. Wow. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Christina says, being immortal, can't imagine watching everyone you have ever loved in every lifetime die around you. Yeah. That is horrific. Yeah, when you when you put it that way, definitely don't want to do that. And I don't know that anybody wants to be immortal. I mean, none of us likes to face our mortality, but at the same time, how long do you want to stay here? Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ready to go to a better place yeah. for sure. Yeah. Uh, what's something people romanticize but is actually horrible? That is the question. Tap the chat button on the KFR app, or you can call us at 978-1033 with your answer. And don't forget, Dog Days with Katie Timber coming up at 7.30. Dana and Justin, the morning on 103.3 KFR is powered by Fab Face and Body, a full-service med spa where beauty meets technology and dreams become reality. Dog Days. On 103.3 KFR. Good morning, Katie Timber. Good morning. Uh, We have Katie Timber from the SPCA of Southwest Michigan joining us in studio right now. And with you, who do you have? This is Pop. Pop is so little. He's so cute. He's like 10 weeks old. Yeah. Um, And he, his brothers, Snap and Crackle, were (laughs) were adopted. Yes. We weren't ready for that. Yes. So he's the last one there. Isn't that sad? Oh, Snap and Crackle are gone. Yeah. His paws are like really big. Or is that just? Oh, well, I mean, it's a kid. Clots, the so the kitten know. will grow into yeah, it. And by the way, like if, if you need to let the just... kitten go, uh, we don't have to worry about the cat getting lost anymore. <laughs> He's purring. He's purring. Okay, so my my brief interaction with Pop mm-hmm. was through the cat the cat carrier. Yeah, and uh, I stuck my fingers in there so I could pet its little face, yeah. and then it, it just wanted to purr and rub up against me and give me little kitty kisses. Um, I love this cat. It's playful. It's lovable. Yes. Oh. 
and its siblings are adopted, so we need to get this baby a home. So yeah. he's super playful. Mm-hmm. And if you can just see, he was licking my finger, and then he started to bite it. Yeah. So he's about 10 weeks old. He's fixed. He's vaccinated. He's microchipped. Obviously, he'll give you a run for your money. Yeah. Oh, you this know? would be a fantastic family pet. Yeah, this would be great. Mm-hmm. Um, and you can come on out. So we are out. He's going to be running around, definitely. He is he is spunky for sure. You have to sure. check out the KFR Facebook page so you can see the live. Uh, one thing, if the oh, there we go. The cat's holding still for a second. The markings on him, yeah. gorgeous. Yeah. He's got such a cute little face, and then just the big paws are just throwing me. It's so funny. He's a curtain listen cat. To the, like listen one to that the just purring. Yeah. Ew. No butts. <laughs> no butts. You can what? tell he had, like, brothers and sisters to kind of... Boy, why do with. cats just love to show their butts off? It is weird. <laughs> it is really strange. Oh, quit that. <laughs> cats are like, look what I have. We get it. We all have yeah. them. <laughs> um, all right, so this kitty cat available for adoption right meow. Right meow. So if you want to whisk her away. <laughs> you can okay. come on out. Um, 6955 West KL. We're open Monday through Friday from 11 to 7 and Saturday from 11 to 4. Um, and just come by for a visit. We have a lot of kittens right now, which is pretty late in the season, and a large variety of dogs. Yes. Very exciting. So come by, adopt, or or maybe you want to volunteer or donate. Uh, all of these things help. Oh, my God, this cat. I know. I know. <laughs> this cat thinks that you are a cat tree, and really? it is fun to watch. Yeah, it is. You so, don't need to get this cat a cat toy. Just stand still. Uh-huh. I know. And we have a couple events coming up. So okay. October 5th, we have an event with Tito's Vodka, Vodka for Dog People. That's is their awesome. Slogan. And that will be at Burdick's. So watch social media for that. And then we have Dog Ween on the 18th. And we're still looking for vendors. So if you're interested in participating, go to our social, go to our website, SPCA of Southwest Michigan. And that's fun because it's just a dog party and dogs compete. During that. a costume contest. It's so cute. Are you guys still doing the peanut butter looking yeah, contest too? Oh, that's the best part. <laughs> All of these dogs think they have this thing down. I know. But then as soon as the competition <laughs> starts, the battle begins and they're like, oh, this is harder than I thought. <laughs> Watching well, these dogs just go out with a peanut butter, it is hilarious. There's cute. a dog that I hope comes back this year and it's a Pomeranian with a cowboy hat and sunglasses. Okay. And he has his own car. Yes. Oh, my gosh. And, like, I love that dog. I do, too. I know exactly who you're talking about. Yeah, that's about. a cute dog. That's like, adorable. Yeah, that's cool dog. <laughs> he just chills. Yeah. So if you're interested in seeing that, yes. please come visit us. So busy October. All right. Let's give everybody the info one more time. 6955 <laughs> West KL. We're open Monday through Friday from 11 to 7 and Saturday from 11 to 4. Oh, the cat has spotted the walker. Look. <laughs> Okay, so by the way, if you missed out on the Facebook Live, you can go to the KFR Facebook page and watch the whole video in its entirety. Trust me, you're going to want to. Well, as always, thank you for coming in. Thank you. Bye. Love you, bye. Love you. Dana and Jess in the morning on 103.3 KFR is powered by Fab Face and Body, a full-service med spa where beauty meets technology and dreams become reality. Who says there's no such thing as a stupid question? Well, that was a stupid question. Here's Dana and Jess on 103.3 KFR. We'll ask you a silly little question, silly little question. What's something people romanticize but is actually horrible? Give a short answer right now by tapping the chat button on the KFR app. Luna says trauma. It doesn't make you stronger or more honorable. It's unnecessary suffering that makes people mentally dysfunctional, leading them to hurt others. Ooh, yeah. good one. And a lot of uh, hero stories start out with trauma and, you know, somebody's just like tough and enduring and all this kind of stuff. But yeah, that that is a solid point. Yeah. Next thing you know, you're dressing up as a bat. Um, <laughs> a little Batman reference. Uh-huh. Jeff just says war. Yeah. Agreed. Aaron says cuddling in bed. Don't touch me when I'm trying to sleep. Right? <laughs> We've got about a five-minute window of that, and then you need to go to your respective spot in the bed. I don't need your sweaty skin on my skin. I'm trying to sleep up in here. Uh Aaron, good answer. Vanessa says serial killers. Yeah. It is bizarre. There are different levels of romanticizing. There Mm -hmm. there are uh, those of us which, when I say those of us, a very large portion of the uh, population that are just obsessed with crime shows, right? Mm -hmm. But then there's the other level where... Uh, there are people that write letters to them in prison. Yeah. It's weird. 
Not something oh. I can get behind, that's for sure. So that's a very good, creepy answer, Vanessa. <laughs> Keep those answers coming in or just chat with us in real time anytime by tapping that chat button on the KFR app. Dana and Jess in the morning on 103.3 KFR. Powered by Fab Face and Body, a full-service med spa where beauty meets technology and dreams become reality. Take a seat. Dana and Jess tell bad-behaving celebrities where to go with Have a Seat on 103.3 KFR. Jennifer Lopez allegedly plans to write songs about Ben Affleck's poor bedroom performance. <laughs> Sources say when things were good between them, J-Lo put Ben and his bedroom skills on a huge pedestal, but her rose-colored glasses are off, and she's telling people he was actually a pretty selfish and basic lover. She's annoyed she wrote all those sexy lyrics about him and is now ready to write a breakup song that will hit him where it hurts and blast him for all the ways he let her down, including between the sheets. She's very fired up and angry right now. Part of how she's dealing with her emotions is by writing and her team is encouraging her to channel that into songwriting it's therapeutic for her and she's getting some satisfaction knowing that she's going to eventually get some revenge by humiliating him Whew. i mean listen on one hand part of the risk of dating a songwriter is having your business put in a song mm. everybody knows that yeah but is jayla really a songwriter <laughs> i mean she has allegedly taken other people's songs and pressured them into crediting crediting her as the co-writer of the song mm. before she'll record the song. Mm-hmm. Um, J-Lo, have a seat. Yeah, sorry, J-Lo. You can't write songs about how great Ben was in bed and then when you break up, now he sucks. <clears throat> We're not downloading that nonsense. Have a seat, girl. And watch out. Uh, ben Affleck is a movie maker, writer, mm. director, and actor. He might decide that he wants to make a movie about a singer that once <laughs> dated a rapper yes. that is now in prison and what her involvement might have been back okay. in the 90s. I'd buy a ticket to that show. See, J-Lo, watch yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Dana and Jess in the morning on 103.3 KFR. Powered by Fab Face and Body, a full-service med spa where beauty meets technology and dreams become reality. Hey. Southwest Michigan's number one hit music station, 103.3 KFR. Good morning. Good morning. It's Dana and Jess, and we uh, we cover the burning questions here on the show. <laughs> and uh, this one is about your bare feet. Mm-hmm. Now, I saw the article pop up. You can also check it out at WKFR.com or the KFR app. Is it illegal to drive barefoot in Michigan? I have heard for years that it is illegal mm-hmm. uh, because... Something about you have less control if you are driving either with flip-flops or with no shoes at all when it comes to handling the pedals. So I have the definitive word from the state of Michigan. And guess what? It's completely legal to drive barefoot. Furthermore, experts have said you have more control. That's what I would think because you've got that barrier between your foot and the pedal. Yeah, you could actually feel and grip. and Yeah. So this is like one of those things where you shouldn't jump in a pool for 20 minutes after you eat. That's a myth. (laughs) Right. Same thing with driving barefoot. Mm -hmm. It is is not illegal and apparently in no way dangerous to drive barefoot. I think it was somebody that didn't want to be riding with somebody who was barefoot. (laughs) driving. That started this whole thing? Yeah, they're like, you know what? That's illegal. (laughs) (laughs) I like that a lot. Yeah. You gotta do what you gotta do. That's right. All right, well, check out the full story right now at WKFR.com or the KFR app. Again, only covering what's most important to our audience. (laughs) Dana and Jess in the morning on 103.3 KFR is powered by Fab Face and Body, a full service med spa where beauty meets technology and dreams become reality. The 103.3 KFR Facebook friend of the day. Like the 103.3 KFR Facebook page. Interact with us in some form and you might be the KFR Facebook friend of the day. Like Pants G. Harris. (laughs) The headline for the article is The Seven Wonders of Southwest Michigan. And Vance had this to say. I sometimes wonder why we have all four seasons in one week. Yeah, that, that is a, that is a wonder we yeah. have, <laughs> isn't it? Uh, 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 it? It's a and right now. I think I talked about this a little bit yesterday. I, I feel like trees are confused because yeah. there, there are leaves all yes. over my yard. Yeah, and I'm like, hey guys, it's still almost ninety. Hold right. on to your leaves. Yeah, <laughs> hold, hold on, on to your leaves. hold on to your wigs. <laughs> all right, well, Vance, you already know the drill. You get. 
nothing. Good day, sir. Congratulations. As always, thank you so much for being a part of the KFR Facebook page and for being a part of the show. You are today's KFR Facebook Friend of the Day. Dana and Jess in the morning on 103.3 KFR is powered by Fab Face and Body, a full-service med spa where beauty meets technology and dreams become reality. 103.3 KFR, good morning. Good morning. It's Dana and Jess here, but it's time for us to fly. Yeah, but it's time for you to stick around so you can get that code to win 30 grand in your hand. It's just $30,000 pocket change for uh, <laughs> all of us people in Southwest Michigan. <laughs> Sure. That's a lie. Uh, so make sure you're listening for those codes each weekday, every hour from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And just like just said, we're just minutes away from your next chance to win. Uh, you know, another big winner will be Florida. No, that's not true. Uh, Florida Man Friday. We're going to be covering a story that happened in Florida that makes us all feel better about Michigan tomorrow morning on the show. Yes. And don't forget Friday dance party to close out the week. Yeah, we're uh, going to try our best to not pull a muscle and uh, celebrate the end of the work week with Friday dance party. So until then, we're leaving. Bye. Bye. Have a nice day and be nice to people. If you miss Dana and Jess in the morning, we got you covered. The 103.3 KFR Morning Show can be steamed, breaded, deep fried, baked, pan seared, sprinkled with powdered sugar, and downloaded wherever you get your podcast. Dana and Jess in the morning on 103.3 KFR is powered by Fab Face and Body, a full service med spa where beauty meets technology and dreams become reality. New Zaxby's Chicken Finger Melts begs the question, how much can you melt in a melt? Well, how about two slices of iconic Zaxby's Texas Toast, three hand-breaded chicken fingers, natural hardwood smoked bacon, dill pickles, cheddar cheese, and jack cheese, all griddled to perfection with our signature tangy Zax sauce, or spicy Zax sauce for an extra kick, or sweet and tangy maple Dijon. Whew, now that's a mouthful. No, wait, a meltful. New Zaxby's Melts. Woo, saucy. Zaxby's.